this wonderful Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. It's a very, very painful video to watch. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I went from this to this. It's a whole transformation. So even if you click off, I totally understand. Here, I upload a lot of painful videos. But if you want to see more painful pictures, follow my Instagram. It's at Nancy Twinkle. So I just woke up. I don't know if you can tell, but... um. I'm just gonna put on a hairband, I think. If one day I'm so rich, like Jeffree Star rich, I'm gonna hire someone to just to detangle my hair. Good lord, this takes forever. I'm not gonna bother my hair now. Let's get into the makeup. Oh no, we have to care about the hair. Welcome back, Hymans. I'm assuming everyone watching this is 18 and above. Anyone from the range of fetus to 18, get out! Today, I thought of doing a Thanksgiving-inspired makeup look. Right now, my parents are out of town. If I look kind of dead and unhealthy, that's because I am. I've been eating prison food for the past two weeks. There's just something about my mom's food, like the nutrients and vitamins, they hit you different, you know? So I have a bunch of shit that I bought. So first, I'm gonna start with my primer. Why does it say premier? Oh, premier. I think that's like the French way to say primer. What the hell is that? It's from the brand Caudale. Caudalie, Caudalie, Caudal. Well, <laughs> not be bothered, man. It's just too much. I'm just gonna go in with this oil first. I, I hate pronouncing stuff, things that I'm not familiar with. It always comes out wrong and funny. Even names, you know, I have a thing with names where I just can never pronounce names. I dated this boy who had such a simple name, so common, but my dumb ass, I couldn't pronounce it. So I cake up the oil all over my face. And for foundation, I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil BB Cream. And this is Melissa Free. I think like kind of. There are like few ingredients which can be a bit problematic for your skin, but, but I think 99% of the ingredients are safe. So you can go ahead and use this. Okay, you gotta tell me what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Who you banging? And what are you wearing? Tell me everything. So I have a flight to catch in like few days. I'm flying to a different country to do like four videos for my Christmas special. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, hope you rot in hell. <laughs> I'm kidding. You have to just go and follow. Just follow my Instagram. Oh, whoa, this is a little orange. Okay, I can never match my foundation on one go. So don't mind me, but but I have to say, wow, like this is my skin. Not looking cakey whatsoever. It definitely is a tinted moisturizing cream. Like it's so pretty. I, I can't even call it a foundation. And then we're going with the Kat Von Douche concealer. Please vaccinate. This is the only concealer that, oh, it's getting orangier. Just make it a little bit yellow. I'm gonna let this sit on for a while and then I'm gonna prime my eyelids for shadow. We're gonna be using the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. It's a little light so that my shadow looks a bit brighter. So as I was saying, I announced, announced. I'm acting like I'm a president. No one really, no one, I'm not announcing anything. It's not a big deal. But I just asked you guys, maybe if you're interested in watching like 12 days of Christmas, but I'm gonna be uploading a video every single day. And if that's something you would wanna watch, and a lot of you said yes, which was great, thank God. <laughs> Imagine someone's like, no, get out. A lot of you said yes. Yes, which is great but then I needed to know a format oh my god my eyes are burning is this shit expired <laughs> so I'm using my morphe e20 brush I get so many questions on this brush this is the only brush that I use for my concealer the first shot I'm gonna be using the nomad cosmetics eyeshadow palette but I needed to know a format that you guys would enjoy watching it in it's either gonna be every single day from December 13 14 15 16 all the way to 24th or it's gonna be like December 3rd 5th 7th 9th every other day so that way you guys have like one day gap to like relax and not watch one of my pain videos this is the result then I open up the poll and I see that one of the options they do have like I think 50 more votes than the other one so next week you're gonna start seeing the 12 days of Christmas four of the videos I'm actually flying to a different country to film that and then I'm gonna fly back to edit the video so Yo, I have some interesting ass content. Can't wait for you to see it. Then I'm using the shade Henna All Over Mouth Crease. A lot of you still have questions on my LA trip. I still have two more vlogs, so you're gonna see more LA stuff happen in those two vlogs. But I didn't vlog that much because I genuinely wanted to enjoy things in the moment and I don't wanna have like a camera up everyone's face. I hate how dark my face is compared to my chest. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I look crazy in real life. I have to lighten up my face. What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm gonna put this guy all over my under eye. I need my under eye to be so bright. But I have to say, this year, I really went out of my zone and I did things that I would never do. Number one, I survived a 17-hour flight. So I fly to India and that's the most I've flown. The longest I've been in an airplane has to be like three hours. So that's okay, that's whatever. And if you're new here and you don't have any idea like what I do and who I am, no one cares about that. Like, I'm not even that important. But one thing you need to know is that I'm such a paranoid person. It's so exhausting being in my body. I'm constantly constantly in fear like something's gonna happen something's gonna explode so um for me to fly a 17 hour flight and then come back so that's a 36 hour flight do you know what just happened like, you know the the previous clip like where i was wasting five minutes doing my eyeshadow i just put concealer all over it and i 
this is why my makeup career failed and I jumped into blogging. So I woke up one day, I went on um, Amazon, bought three luggages. Then I booked a flight, an Airbnb, and that's it. The thing is that here in Dubai, I'm, I'm living in such a comfortable life, you know? I'm living with my parents, rent-free. I don't have bills, I don't pay for anything. I don't like that because I've lived here for so long, I feel a bit suffocated. For 21 years, I've seen them every single day of my life. And I'm such a pussycat, like I'm so paranoid to a point that if I'm getting into my car, I look over my shoulder. I park my car, I look over my shoulder I get out of my car I look over my shoulder I go to a mall I'm always like looking I'm looking at myself my phone my breasts my cash I'm like holding everything like fuck like I don't want anyone to fucking touch or steal anything from me and I think especially women we live in this constant fear that something bad's gonna happen to us we're either gonna get pushed into sex trafficking we're gonna get abducted or kidnapped like I have this kind of situations happening in my head every day but <laughs> in real life I'm such a pussy and I think a lot of my friends like suffer with me because I drive them down with me so for someone who's just so scared of life it was very ballsy of me to just get up one day and be like I'm gonna fly 17 hours from here and no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do in LA because I don't have friends in LA so I, I just had no idea what I was gonna do there but I just knew I had to get out of my house and I met a couple of people there who were in LA as well at the same time as me so then we booked a huge house and we all stayed in there so yes it was kind of like a leisure and also like a business trip I was doing YouTube stuff like meetings but also like having fun with my friends and again I'm telling you it's so scary because like man Americans y'all sleep with windows open I could not like and that's the windows are here and this is the platform so like anyone who's like five one and above which is literally everyone other than snow white and the dwarfs anyone and everyone can get into that window and kill us you know like there were a few things I was like oh I'm so scared I don't want to do this I don't want to do that but I was in LA and I'm like okay so you cannot be yourself like how you were back home these are like different people they don't know you you cannot drag them down with you I, I just kept this to myself I'm like fuck I can't breathe the windows are open and we're sleeping literally with the windows open there were like tiny things where I was just like freaked out inside but I kind of kept it to myself I'm so happy I'm so proud of myself guys you have no idea because I landed back and my mom's like do you know what you just did I'm like I don't know <laughs> don't, don't talk to me I had, I had like a mental breakdown I caught a flight and I left I don't even know what happened but a lot of relatives were like how are you letting her go she's gonna suffer she's gonna be stuck she's gonna die it's pretty sexist in my culture like you know woman really can do shit I don't think a female can live alone I don't think a female can do things on her own she needs the help of a man that's kind it's pretty sexist my mom is very scared of any mom would be because trust me if I woke up one day and my daughter's like oh I'm gonna fucking fly to a country I've never been to before and I'm gonna stay in this house that I've never been to before I'm gonna be traveling in a different car every time if my mom doesn't get the concept of uber like I'm like mom uber it's just like death that's death and I'm like, no, it's safe. So I understand my mom, but then my relatives were so, like, so, so negative about me flying alone. But, like, shut the f up. I'm, I didn't come out of your vagina. Thank God I slipped out from my mom's fallopian tube and not theirs. So, like, they need to shh. And I've got a flat on my flat. I'm gonna make my eyes super cat eye sexy like. So I'm using a darker brown shade from the palette. This is the Juvia's eyeshadow palette, by the way. Did I even say that? No, I didn't because I resigned from the beauty guru group chat. Yo, I hated being a beauty guru. God, I'm so happy I'm out of that rut. If you want to kill yourself, but not like, you know, actually kill yourself, just become a beauty guru, you will want to do it eventually. It was honestly just being constantly criticized over everything you do. Like I would have my shirt low, a little bit low, and someone would be like, oh, you're just doing that so your breasts can be seen. I hate females. I swear to God, I read a comment like that. So I'm having fun being on a very gray category. I'm, I'm everything, I, I do vlogs, I do beauty but being a beauty guru man what else did i do in la i also did uh end up going to a club i love the club there were no sweaty men grabbing your ass and falling over you i hate the clubs here it's the worst it is so bad so this is an example of how i would talk to a man like asking him to move away so that i could you know proceed in the front hi sir could you please move so that i could go in the front yeah sure thank you sir no problem that's how i do it do you want to know how men move you in the club Hey babe, do you mind moving to the other side? I just wanna say, you're too sexy. Where's that crop top from? Fashion Nova? I swear, this is how people talk to you at clubs. Just talk to me, they're worse. Just talk, communicate, and I will move. But they grab you by your waist from the back and they lift you up and they do this shit which I cannot stand. What are you wearing tonight? Is it Kylie Cosmetics? Like if you're a guy watching this, and if you do this, stop, because you will get killed one day. So that's why when I go to clubs, I dress up like a nun, because I hate when men grab me by the waist. So on top of that, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, looking up, and that way it cuts it for you. Oh, also I graduated, which is such a good thing. Not for me, for the university. Because they're gonna have my face on their website forever now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. When I told my dad I passed and he's like, I don't know, you might want to refresh the page just so you're sure. All my cousins, they're like, you know, engineers and doctors and I'm here like, 
I'm a failed YouTuber. Trust me, it's not the best job title out there when you tell people you're a YouTuber, they're like, oh. But the money is good, babes. 50 inch TV, she's sitting out great. I have this stupid ongoing joke in my family. Anytime someone always goes like, you know, you're a YouTuber, I don't know. I'm like, okay, so who has a 50 inch TV? Hello? Who, who, which, who, who is it? So it just like shuts them right up. But yeah, I took arts in when in high school. So like, you know, there's science, there's commerce, and there's arts. And again, arts is also one of those subjects where people like, like give you shit for taking it. So boys were like, you know, making fun of girls for taking arts and how it's an easy subject and anyone could pass. And that issue is pretty real. A lot of people think arts is like really stupid. It's either science or math. You choose one and you go along with that subject. I had a lot of relatives who would just talk shit and I would mock at them. I'm like, oh, you watched a movie. Who do you think directed that? What what did he take? Did he take science? Did he take math? Did he take computer? He took arts, drama. He must have taken something in the film industry. I'm pretty sure he didn't take astronaut studies. Mm. So we come back to the makeup. <laughs> we blend the shadow. <laughs> I went on a tangent here. On top of this, I'm gonna go in with this glitter that I found called Take Two Cosmetics Pressed Glitter. The shade is called Medusa. I can't find my liner. So I'm just gonna use a flat angle brush. For mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This mascara, oh my God. This truly is better than sex. Sex, sex. These are not my real lashes. I still have few bits and pieces of lash extensions left, but I'm just saying it's still really good. I've never stayed in an Airbnb alone, so that itself was very, very scary. I've never traveled in an Uber. God, I don't know who made these apps. Tinder, Grinder. It literally screams serial killer vibes. I'm using this foundation powder from Ulta Beauty. I do want to use a little bit of this guy. I'm gonna just brighten up my under eye. And then I'm bronzing my face using the Nomad Cosmetics. For highlighter, I'm gonna be mixing these and for the bronzer, I'm using the shade Manly Beach. And I just remember this um, story time from going clubbing here in Dubai. There was this guy who followed me and my friend all the way to the washroom. And you know how like girls take so much time in the washroom? Like we took a lot of time because we, I was tipsy, my friend was tipsy. We come out of the washroom and this guy is waiting with his friend. Good Lord. It's literally a pretty little liar episode by itself. I'm like, hello, excuse me, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, I'm just waiting outside. Yeah, near a female's washroom for what to check if everyone's hymens are intact he's like oh no i'm just here for your mobile number leave it in the comments below what's your number one pet peeve when it comes to men one thing i cannot stand has to be men singing it's always singing that gets me so mad like you walk by them and they start singing some shitty romantic bullshit there's a reason sweetie why x factor didn't call you back so just like let it be it's always some romantic ass lullaby crap it's never like a rap song from like dj khaled or like drake it's some shitty romantic song always like why are you singing me this lullaby Bye. What are you gonna do next? Pat my head, scratch my ass, change my diapers, and put me to sleep? I don't think so, love. Finally, <laughs> for highlighter, Tamarama Beach. So I'm just gonna apply a little here. This is the Stardust Glow Palette from Mela Cosmetics. I'm gonna be using the blush from here. It's called Sigma, and where's my blush brush? For lip liner, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Soft Brown Lip Liner. And on top of this lip liner, Supernatural from Dose of Colors. So very, very pretty nude. And remember, this is Lux giving. We don't want to look presentable. So I'm just living up by the tutorial name. Oh my God. Okay, um, on top of this, I'm going to be topping it Wow, I just lost brain cells. The secret, babes, <laughs> is to use a brown liquid lipstick. You will remember me for this trick, trust me. This is the perfect brown color from ColourPop. Um, it's called Tansy. I'm gonna head it in the outer corner. Okay, so for my hair, I'm gonna be pinning it up with these hairpins. I have no idea whose hair is this, like pinned along with the bobby pin package. I think it comes free. And then I'm gonna be wearing a different Thanksgiving headpiece. And then now after this, I'm gonna be changing my top into a very slutsgiving appropriate. So this is the trashiest um, pants that I own. They are ripped and they're from Fashion Nova and uh, I always get people coming up to me and telling me, Oh hi madam, your pants are told from the back. Can you please fix it? I don't know why I turned British for a second, but I swear to God, that's how they sound in my head. These pants, they're like ripped from the back and they're pretty obvious that it's a style because they're pretty even drips on each leg. How trash Trashy is this top. Such an LA thing to buy. <laughs> this is how trashy my Thanksgiving attire is gonna be. I mean, it is a slutsgiving look, so I think it's pretty appropriate. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below, but this is the trashiest outfit that I could put together. Okay, now to make things even worse than it is now, I'm gonna be trying on some bags. I'm gonna show you what I have. Woohoo! So I got these bags, and they're all from Dollskill cereal box bag. How cool. I have this sushi bag. Send nudes bag i have this milk um carton a cereal box bag is appropriate 
So yeah, I think this is the finished outfit, baby. Are you jealous? So yeah, this is my finished slut giving makeup look. Let me know if you like this outfit or not. Actually, don't let me know. Keep it to yourself. I don't care, dumbass. But yeah, subscribe and like. I don't think anyone's gonna do that because this, this video was really painful to make, even for myself. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Wow, I think out of all the trashiest video, this was the worst. What the f***?